two very different fates befell tonight's varsity football adversaries on the opening day of the 2018 edition of the tournament as the University of Johannesburg now look to build on a positive start and the visiting University of Pretoria seek to shake off their disappointments. This is Fortune searching for options. And uh, that is I on trying to locate Pichuso Mabote. Now an opportunity with the little clip over from Mabote and uh, just gets it slightly wrong. It was a harmless ball played by Fortune but also the miscommunication between Okolo and uh, Mavas keeper. As we head towards the 20 minute mark they are yet to crack tucks open. They had a, a much easier run of it against the University of Limpopo. They might find the opener here. If not for a better cross, that is Mojela. Clever, very clever for a man who netted himself a brace a week ago. It was a good cross coming from the side, but Dimera couldn't clear his lines. And for Mojela. What happened elsewhere around the country is... Uh, University of Brazil in Natal taking on Northwest University Mafa King. We'll try to keep you up to date on that one as well. But right now it's University of Johannesburg looking to open the scoring and that's uh, Mabotwane. Mabote they open up the space nicely play down, but unfortunately he was let down by the execution. At the University of Pretoria is the national first division team. Made 12 appearances uh, last season. As the ball comes in for UJ and drops here yeah. and an opportunity and eventually the shot by Mabote straight down the throat of Giovanni Iri. It was a nice uh, cross from Matebula but the knockdown managed to get Mabote and the one-two played in between but unfortunate for the latter who had the tame shot but it was a clever play and enterprising. It was Matebula again this time he finds Mojela who evades De Almeida and Mojela well, that shot was swerving in the air. This is just moments before. Mojela once again evading uh, two men at a time. Tux look a little bit more composed in the second stanza. But it is O'Neill Hendricks now with a real opportunity. And it will be tipped behind uh, by Giovanni Edi. I don't think he knew it was going wide. He has recovered in a point, but for Hendricks, it was a letdown as the trailing legs of O'Connor managed to steer the ball away. This is Del Maida. Picks up Moremi. Moremi wants the return. Does he have the strength? He does. And he gets across in my word. Well, if that was the moment to separate the two teams. For Fontaine, it's something that he'll never want to see as even his goalkeeper was side-footed. Sisibo to launch it long. And he does so. They haven't cleared the danger yet. It's not a down by a colo. That's a foul called. I still feel they've been utilized the height of Okolo when it comes to set plays. And they could benefit from it as he's a tall fellow. Now oh, it needs to be strong. Mabote and he is. And he sends Mojela on his way. And he chips up beautifully. And the stadium erupts. It is the University of Johannesburg inside the final 10 minutes who take the lead. Mabote did very well to drop deep, but the, to play the ball behind and the pace, and also from Mohaila, the eye for goals. Wow, that's class by itself. That's a moment of brilliance from Motosan. Now, there's an opportunity! Okolo with the equalizer. There's a wonderful acrobatic moment where the ball is steered towards goal and then the big man who towers above everyone else in the park. What a ball from Ukwane to drill it and fluffed by the keeper. And Okolo was lacking at the back, but the rebound from... Uh, in fact, it's Moremi. Yeah. And then it was met with Okolo. And they thought he maybe Okolo was offside, but unfortunately there were players that were standing on the goalpost, which make him to be onside. Players absolutely drained after that tussle. What a battle in the Trans Yuxke derby, as there is nothing to separate the University of Johannesburg and the University of Pretoria. It ends 1 1.